Welcome to Movie Recaps Corner. Today, we shall be looking at the movie Bubble Boy. This little boy is Jimmy, who has been born without an immune system. At the hospital, he has to be kept in a sterilized environment since a single germ can kill him. After some time, his parents take him home where he has to live in a sterilized environment as well. Jimmy earns the nickname Bubble Boy from the neighbors. This is worsened by Jimmy's mother who does not like him associating with other children, as she feels it might be a risk to her little boy. Additionally, Jimmy's mother is a bit of a religious freak. She feeds Jimmy cookies that are shaped like a cross. She tells Jimmy that the world is a dirty and horrible place. She only exposes him to Highlights Magazine and Land of the Lost for entertainment. He is never allowed to go outside and he only observes the world from his day. One day, when he is a teenager, he sees Chloe, a girl next door. With time, the two become friends despite the discouragement of Jimmy's mother. Chloe brings Jimmy gifts and gets them to him through his decontamination chamber. One day, Chloe wants Jimmy to let her into his bubble so that they can spend some time together. However, Jimmy refuses since her mother told him he would die if he did that. Even though Chloe insists that she will get decontaminated and have no germs, Jimmy refuses. This angers Chloe, who wants to develop a physical and romantic relationship with Jimmy. She goes away and starts dating a guy named Mark. Chloe and Mark decide to get married. Chloe informs Jimmy that their wedding will be near Niagara Falls in three days, and reveals that she can no longer visit him. At night, Jimmy builds a smaller and mobile suit with the intention of going to Niagara Falls to stop the wedding. He feels that Chloe cares for her, and he wants to develop a better connection with her. He gets out of the house, which is the first time to do so in his entire life. Jimmy goes to the bus station and is told that the ticket to Niagara Falls costs $260. Since he is unaware of how the world operates, since he spent his entire life in his room, he had carried no money to pay for the ticket. While still staggering around, he gets hit by a bus full of teenagers called the Bright and Shiny. Fortunately, he is not hurt, and the teenagers load him on the bus with the promise of getting him to Niagara Falls for free. Since Jimmy is new to the social world, he offends the teenagers when he asks them if they are a cult. They immediately throw him out of the bus in the middle of the desert. At the same time, Jimmy's mother notices he is missing. She packs her bag and departs with her husband in search of Jimmy. As Jimmy is walking through the desert, he meets with a biker called Slim. Jimmy helps him fix his bike, and Slim promises to take Jimmy to Vegas. In Vegas, they go to a casino where Jimmy wins a small bike. He decides to continue with his journey alone and leave Slim. Jimmy's mother catches up with him. During the confusion, she hits him with the car and he is bounced aboard a train. The train belongs to Dr. Freak, who shows freaks to the public for money. Freak tries to recruit Jimmy into his circus band, but he refuses. Jimmy knocks him unconscious and runs away, with the freaks following him. Jimmy meets with an Indian man named Pushpop who sells ice cream and curry. Jimmy asks Pushpop to take him to Niagara Falls, and he accepts. Along the way, Pushpop hits a cow, which really upsets him, since cows are sacred in his religion. He gives Jimmy an ice cream and tells him to continue on foot. Jimmy arrives in a small town and asks an old man to take him to Niagara Falls. The man asks for $500 and Jimmy goes to the bar hoping to get the money. He joins a mud wrestling competition with some girls and emerges the winner. However, the teenagers from the earlier bus arrive. Their leader had told them that their new messiah will have a round aura around him, and so they thought that Jimmy must therefore be their prophesized messiah. The freaks who have been following Jimmy have also arrived. Slim also comes with his biker squad to fight the teenagers who messed up with their bikes and to help Jimmy with his journey. During the scuffle between these groups, Jimmy manages to slip away and get into the old driver's car. After some time, Pappy the old drivers appear to have died at the wheel. Jimmy jumps from the car and the bubble helps him to survive. He goes to a gas station to call Chloe and asks her to wait until he arrived. However, Mark picks up the call and rudely convinces Jimmy that Chloe does not love him at all, since he is a freak who can never connect with her physically. Jimmy is disheartened by the news that Chloe will never marry her. Discouraged, he calls Dr. Freak, 
but the phone is snatched by his mother, who is still looking for him with his father. The parents arrive to take him home, but his father decides to encourage him. He tells him to imagine what would have happened if astronauts went to the moon, but never set foot on it. This encourages Jimmy to finish his journey to Niagara Falls and achieve his dream. Jimmy runs to get on a plane with Pippi, who is an old man who is a twin brother to Pappy, the old car driver. Once they arrive in Niagara Falls, the airplane seems to develop some mechanical problems as Pippi becomes lifeless. Jimmy jumps from the plane and luckily survives the fall. He arrives at church just in time to stop the wedding. Jimmy confesses his love to Chloe and swears he is ready to do anything to be with her. He abandons his protective bubble suit, then embraces and kisses her. He then collapses and is thought to be dead. His father and mother arrive, followed by the slim biker squad and the other groups involved in the adventure. His father insists that Jimmy's mother should tell Jimmy the truth. She confesses that although Jimmy was born without an immune system, he later on developed an immune system when he was four years old. However, she continued keeping him isolated due to her overprotective nature. Jimmy is angered to hear that he has been perfectly fine all along, but he forgives her. Jimmy and Chloe are married. The different groups of people he encountered during the journey are seen taking part in the celebrations. As they prepare to go for their honeymoon, they discuss their driver and co-driver are Pappy and Pippi, both of whom merely fell asleep during previous scenes but did not die. Jimmy and Chloe kiss as they ride off to begin their honeymoon and life together. That marks the end of our recap. For more enjoyable recaps, please subscribe to the channel. If you need a recap for a specific movie, be sure to leave its title in the comment section.